guys look Bellis here and I'm giving you a second trailer reaction tonight. I already did my reaction to the official trailer uh, for the 2019 Hellboy reboot. Um, yeah, uh, next year's reboot of Hellboy with uh, David Harbour. Um, and this reaction uh, that I'm going to be doing is uh, to the official trailer for the upcoming Men in Black movie, which is, I think, is also a reboot. Or either that or it's a remake. I don't even know. But uh, this is called Men in Black International, starring Chris Hemsworth, Thor, and Tessa Thompson. Uh, this, I think, uh, this is not the their first collaboration with each other in a film. Uh, they were in Thor Ragnarok. Um, uh, Thor, uh, Chris Hemsworth, Thor, and Tessa Thompson, Valkyrie. Even though her character's name is not actually Valkyrie, I'm still cl calling her character Valkyrie for the sake of calling her Valkyrie. Um, but uh, getting that out of the way, um, uh, the official trailer for Men in Black International uh, that is the official title for the movie, has been released, I think, earlier today. So, without any further ado, let's react. Always remember, the universe has a way of leading you to where you're supposed to be. Liam Neeson, my man. There he is. I love it. I actually forgot that Liam Neeson was actually going to be in this movie. I, I really can't believe that I forgot about it. And I found you, which makes me perfect for this job. You really think a black suit is going to solve all your problems? Mm, no, but looks damn good on you. Oh, snap! <laughs> We are a rumor. Hmm. Recognizable only as deja vu and dismissed just as quickly. Time to prove yourself, Agent M. We may have a problem in London. Welcome to MIB. Move it, I lose it. You will be with Agent H, one of the best ever to wear this suit. Catching up on my daily meditation. Time for lunch. Are you hungry? It's 9.30. Oh, it's Tuesday's taco day. <laughs> yep. We've been compromised. It puts every citizen of this planet at risk. Nice. If we could all just look right here. Just try. It's gonna be fun. We'll have fun with it. There should be a big red button around here somewhere. Found it. <laughs> just a sudden. Uh, pause and then boop. Uh, there it goes flying. Looks like the tables have turned. Yeah. That was an incredible catch. <laughs> it's a pretty good trailer. I dug it. Um, a very good trailer. Um, let me give you my uh, art uh, before I get to that actually. Uh, it's a good looking trailer, much like I said about the official trailer for uh, the Hellboy remake. Or, no, not remake, reboot. I misspoke. Um, I said in my reaction to the official trailer for Hellboy the 2019 reboot uh, that the trailer looks pretty uh, good and entertaining, and I can safely say the same thing for, the tra for this trailer for Men in Black International. And so. Uh, and, and and Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson, they look very good. Uh, they seem to be doing their own thing in this trailer, or in this movie. Uh, the trailer is showing them doing their own thing. 
uh, together in this film, which is very good to see. You know, seeing them from, you know, uh, that both of them being in Thor Ragnarok and having to see them uh, collaborate again, this time in a Men in Black movie, um, that's pretty interesting, I must say. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> And I still can't believe that I forgot that Liam Neeson was in this movie. I still can't get over uh, the fact that Liam Neeson is in this movie. It still surprises me, even when I keep reading that he's in this film uh, multiple times. Uh, I still can't get over that. Uh, that's how great Liam Neeson is as an actor for me. For, uh, he's like the best, to me, in my own personal opinion, and it might be different than anybody else's, but I don't care. Uh, Liam Neeson is the best actor working in Hollywood today. Period. Uh, come hate me, bruh. Or come at me, bruh. Come at me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's just my own personal opinion. But anyway, uh, tonally, uh, this movie looks good. Uh, it looks really decent. I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to figure out exactly what uh, the direction is gonna uh, that this film is gonna have once it comes out in theaters you know just uh, what path that this film is gonna take and, and how you know <clears throat> how the characters both of them uh, Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson are gonna play out uh, now I know they're gonna be good don't get me wrong I'm not saying they're not gonna be good uh, or make good performances I'm just saying that I'm curious as to how they will do this or how they will uh, make this film really good. And now, getting into my very, 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 very brief history with Men in Black, uh, the movies, with Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith. Uh, I vaguely remember watching, what was it, uh, the first and second uh, Men in Black movies? Uh, I, I remember watching the third one, uh, but... Uh, it was it was only the t it was like in my, it was at the time where I actually didn't uh, t take movies seriously uh, or basically at a time where I was just watching them instead of like uh, you know watching and reviewing them. Um, I wasn't really like a critic at that time, but you know being a movie critic now, uh, I can kind of see that Men in Black Three was just okay. Uh, I still need to watch uh, Men in Black, or re-watch uh, Men in Black 1 and 2 in, it, in their entireties. Uh, but the third one I thought was actually fine. You know, just to refresh my memory on, you know, the, uh, the first and second Men in Black uh, films with Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith. Like, I really need to re-watch both of them. But the, other than that, uh, I, I like Sir, I like Men in Black the Frank, the whole series Men in Black to a certain extent just the concept alone uh, you know some a uh, weird a uh, weird looking ge genetic like creatures uh, working with humans you know, uh, on stopping some potential threats to not only like you know some monsters or aliens but also to humankind you know just being like you know what I'm saying uh, if you are if you're into the whole Men in Black mythology, or lore, I should say. Uh, but yeah, uh, I find the Men in Black series, the entire series of Men in Black, kind of weird. Uh, but not in a weird, but not in a way that was, like, that just makes you uncomfortable. No, it was, I would say it's weird in a way that is interesting. Uh, it's, it's an interesting, yet a strange thing to know about what the whole f uh, Men in Black franchise is about. But after watching this trailer, I, I'm getting the impression that this film, while having a very, very similar, th uh, probably having the same themes as the original Men in Black uh, trilogy, is going to a different direction. Uh, not just with the characters, but also the story as well. It will be very interesting to see how they'll do this, how, success, how successful this film will be, or how they'll make this film successful, is what I'm basically saying, both financially and critically.
Now, I might say that it does well financially, but I don't know how critically it will be. We will just have to wait and see. So anyway, guys, that is my reaction to Man Black International, starring Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson. So yeah, guys, uh, that is two videos that I've already got done. I only have one video to go, and that is my review for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, it will be up as soon as I'm done uploading this reaction. So, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please click the like button, and if you have already watched this trailer, comment below to let me know what you think of it. If you enjoy what you've seen here and you want to see future videos from me, please press up there to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great week, Battle Squad, and as always, fight the good fight.